What's up guys, NBA talk with the second video of the night for us. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks defeated the Minnesota Timberwolves after a good second half uh, comeback. Uh, well, the Minnesota Timberwolves had a good start and they played very good defense, which is they're not known for good defense. Well, decent at times. Even with uh, Jimmy Butler in there, Tom Thibodeau in there, it's like this team can't be consistent enough on the defensive end, and it showed tonight. Like the Minnesota Timberwolves, I mean, the Milwaukee Bucks just came right back, clapped back at them um, in the second half. Um, so yeah, that that was pretty much the story. Like especially in the fourth quarter where. Milwaukee just turned it on them, like completely, almost completely shut them down in the fourth quarter, allowing them only to put out 12 points. <laughs> you had all the the three main stars, um, Jimmy Butler, Wiggins, and then uh, Carl Anthony Towns. They couldn't do a thing. They could not do a thing, and they shot percentage wise good. All three of them shot percentage, percentage wise, they did good. But overall, they got shut down in the fourth by the Bucks. Um, so yeah, Bucks win this 102 to 96. Um, Giannis, 22 points, 10 rebounds, three assists, 11 for 20 from the field. Um, Eric Bledsoe, who has shown to be a great pickup like they definitely needed this guy here in Milwaukee great trade probably gonna be the best trade um, uh, one of the best trades in 2017 because he's doing a lot for this team 26 points six assists five steals three rebounds eight for 15 from the field two three-pointers out of four he's, he's doing a lot for this team He's like their second option right now. Like he's doing a lot for Giannis in this game. Uh, Chris Middleton as well, 14 points, seven rebounds, four assists, steal. He was five for 11 from the field, made two three pointers as well. Uh, you got John Henson, 14 points, four rebounds, and a steal, seven for seven from the free throw um, field. Um, you also had Tony Snell in there playing defense strictly. And you got Malcolm coming off the bench with 13 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Basically, their 6th man of the year. 54% um, from the field. 36 rebounds, 23 assists, 10 steals, 16 turnovers. The Bucks keep rising. They're 18-15. and 15. They're doing very well for themselves, man. Very, very well. They won their... Well, they lost last game, but... They bounce back real good against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have a better record than them. So, Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns with 22 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 8 for 12 from the field, 4 for 8 from the 3-point range for a big guy. And Andrew Wiggins, 21 points, 3 rebounds, 7 for 14 from the field, 4 for 6 from the 3-point range. Uh, Jimmy Butler... 20 points, 6 for 16 from the field, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals tonight. Todd Gibson picked up 12 points, 7 rebounds. Um, you have um, Tyrus Jones filling in for Jeff Teague, who's out. 6 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, 5 steals. Uh, and then 11 points off the bench from Jamal Crawford. 47% from the field. 33 rebounds, 20 assists, and 16 turnovers. And that's that's pretty much a wrap. Nothing else to say. Um, Minnesota Timberwolves are 22 and 14, which is still absolutely freaking great. Um, 10 out of 8 on the road. 10 wins, 8 losses on the road. Um, 18 and 15 is the Milwaukee Re uh, Bucks record, 12 and 16. 12 and 16. No, no. 12, 12 and 6 at home. 
basically that's what I'm trying to say marveling my words again so that's it for this video one more and that's the Houston Rockets versus the Boston Celtics which I didn't really see the end of the no I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I didn't see the third quarter for the Boston's game so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that next one peace